I've been telling you this for some time now, for a couple of weeks, that when the partying wears off at this uh, Kamala Harris nonsense, reality is going to sit in for the American people. Look, they're not getting any more votes than they ever were getting. The Karens are not going to vote for Trump. The soccer moms are not going to vote for Trump. All these people on these videos, the TikTokers, they were, going to, they were never going to vote for Trump. Reality is starting to set and it's happening today. The devastating July jobs report now is fueling the fears of a recession. Let me just give you some of these facts because you're going to get a lot of different spin from the fake news out there in the state-run media. Right now, a breakdown of the numbers reveals just how bad this Biden, Harris, whatever you want to call it, economy is. Over the past 12 months, 1.2 million native-born Americans have lost their jobs. 1.2 million lost their jobs. Unemployment up to 4.3%. It was supposed to be about four. Gone up. That's driven the stock market down today. Let me give you the second fact. Since July of 2023, in the same amount of time, 1.3 illegals have gotten jobs. So if you're an illegal, if you're an illegal immigrant and you came here and you're an alien and you didn't get deported and you just walked through the border, you're getting the jobs. If you're a American, you're not. Now you got to work part-time jobs in order to make it up. This is devastating unemployment rate. You got a recession on the horizon. Everything they do has been an absolute disaster. You know what? The only people's lives that are being made better by the Biden-Harris economy, whatever you want to call it, Bidenomics, is illegal aliens that came here legally. You want to call them migrants, whatever you want to call them. These are the people benefiting from the economy. They're getting money, they're getting jobs, they're getting phones, they're getting hotels, they're getting everything. If you're a native-born American, you're losing your jobs, and you're working two jobs part-time to put food on the table. You go to the grocery store, you go to the gas station. I went to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday. I got a large black coffee and one breakfast sandwich, $16.